next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. the strikers in this division sprawl and brawl whatever you want to say he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight it does not matter how he accomplishes it all he wants to do is be on his feet and at rage hitting you with the beautiful jab staying away from the grappling exchanges you don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance he has great distance management which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks spinning back kick jumping high kick so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight yeah if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight most it's people over. believe yeah his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble well you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time the great bruce lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight champ everybody wants to be bruce lee they say they want to be like mike if you're a fighter you wanted to be like bruce lee you wanted to be that fast you wanted to be that charismatic you wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents your speed your movement just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people i mean i watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. And now for the official Ladies introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buff. The main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeBing. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He's at five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Split, Croatia, Assassin. And now, because he's opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Come on, sneak that kick in there. Nice strike. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 
jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Three minutes have gone by here in round one. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Shot there is blocked. Watch knees to the body. Back and forth we go. And he lands the knee to the body now. Hip over when he throws that kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good enough. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big kick lands. Sauce reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach in. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Jab hurt him a little bit. Lee's punch to the body. That one is blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just over three minutes to go. Big kick land. What? Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. And now he's got him hurt bad. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Right on the button. Very tricky to really throw that body. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Slips to avoid that left. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. His hands are down. Set up that high kick now. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. There's the kick, it's blocked. Just 
missed on the front kick there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. 15 seconds. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take the They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just missed with that right hand. but just misses. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beats his leg up. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. You gotta protect yourself. Taking too many kicks. <laughs> big punch lands from him. Oh, a huge block there. Leg kick thrown. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Big punch land. Ooh. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Ten seconds. Plus right hand is true. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the end. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. 
Hall, big punch land. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations to it. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. He's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice kick there by Lee. Under two minutes to go in the round. Pretty good right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, man, hit me, land. Oh, beautiful head movement, slips there. That is, oh, man, this dude is good. Out of range with that one. Real quick leg kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that was a great lead left. His opponent was not ready for it. His opponent thought jab. He landed that beautiful straight left hand. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway, and... Man, these guys still look fresh as if they haven't even started fighting tonight. Pretty impressive. Both of them have a huge reputation for being fit fighters, and it shows in the way they're approaching round number two. More than one. Big head kick lands. Good strike there by Lee. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. combination there and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take honestly the night is almost over if you keep getting hit with punches like this you are going to sleep how's his opponent still stand I mean I have no idea this fight is supposed to be over it might not be over now but it's gonna be over very soon oh big left hook there beautiful kick To the jab now, no good. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's getting lit up right now, John. Oh, 
Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Leg kick. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Lands with the right hand. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. All right. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability.